In today's video, we're going to explore the subject of dividend payout ratio. In this guide I will help you understand what it is, how to calculate it, and how you can use the payout ratio to make informed investment decisions. So what exactly is the dividend payout ratio? It is basically a financial metric that tells us how much of a company's earnings are distributed to shareholders in the form of dividends. It's important because it helps us evaluate the sustainability of dividend payments and can guide us in choosing the right investments. Calculating the dividend payout ratio is quite simple. All you need are two components, dividends per share and earnings per share. Dividends per share represent the total amount of dividends paid to shareholders divided by the number of shares outstanding during a specific period. Earnings per share, on the other hand, represent the net income attributable to common shareholders divided by the weighted average number of shares outstanding during a specific period. Let's take an example. Suppose a company paid dividends of $5 million and had earnings of $20 million. The number of shares outstanding is 10 million. To calculate the dividend payout ratio, we divide the dividends per share by the earnings per share. In this case, the dividend payout ratio would be 50 cents divided by $2 which equals 0.25 or 25%. Now that we know how to calculate the ratio, let's talk about how to interpret it. A high dividend payout ratio, typically above 50%, suggests that a company is distributing a significant portion of its earnings to shareholders. This may indicate limited funds for reinvestment or growth opportunities. High ratios can be attractive to income-seeking investors or mature companies in stable industries. On the other hand, a low dividend payout ratio, below 30%, suggests that a company is retaining a substantial portion of its earnings for reinvestment. This indicates a focus on growth and expansion rather than immediate dividend payments. Low ratios are often seen in high growth companies or those operating in volatile industries. Lastly, a moderate dividend payout ratio, ranging from 30% to 50%, strikes a balance between reinvestment and returning profits to shareholders. It is commonly observed in companies with moderate growth potential and stable cash flows. Moderate ratios provide a balance between income and growth for investors. While the dividend payout ratio is a useful tool, it's important to understand its limitations. It doesn't consider the portion of earnings retained by the company for reinvestment, which could contribute to future growth. Also, comparing ratios across different industries may not be meaningful due to variations in business models and capital requirements. So, always analyze the ratio within the context of the specific industry and the company's competitors. Additionally, keep in mind that dividend policies can change over time due to various factors such as economic conditions, business cycles, or company-specific events. Historical payout ratios may not accurately predict future payout levels. Overall, by understanding and using this ratio, you can evaluate the sustainability of dividend payments, identify income-generating opportunities, and make informed investment decisions. But remember, the dividend payout ratio is just one piece of the puzzle. Consider it alongside other financial metrics and industry specific factors to get a comprehensive view. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon for more.